Check this out. I am standing next to probably one of the most controversial cars ever created. Uh, this was a car that almost didn't get put into production. This is a 1999 Shelby Series 1. This is a limited number 158 of only 259 ever built. This is sitting in our showroom floor with 522 original miles on it, guys. Uh, this has been part of the Volo uh, Rich and Famous or Hollywood uh, vault collection for over 10 years now, uh, and it is finally being offered up for grabs. We have so many vehicles and we like bringing in new stuff, uh, so this one unfortunately has to go, but I hope that a serious collector will pick this up because if you are a Shelby fan, you definitely have to have this car. Now a lot of people have heard of the Shelby Series 1, but they've never actually seen one in person. Uh, we had this out displayed at our car show this past weekend. Probably one of the most popular cars that was flocked to. Uh, if you see strikingly unique uh, comparisons to like the uh, GT40 or the Dodge Viper or even the Shelby Cobra, uh, that's because it was. This was hand built and designed from scratch by Carroll Shelby, a true Shelby car, uh, but it has ties to all those vehicles. Kind of strikingly similar, but different at the same time. Has the round taillights, kind of like the GT40, uh, the dual Borla exhaust out the back of the center like the Dodge Vipers had. Uh, it's got this nice shark fin on it in the rear. Uh, these bodies are completely carbon fiber sitting on an aluminum chassis. This is a very, very lightweight car. Carol Shelby claimed this to have one of the most rigid chassis that was ever created. Whether or not that's true, uh, who knows. But very unique car, very cool looking. This is finished in continental silver with maroon stripes over it. It does have a manual black uh, convertible soft top. So if you are wanting to drive this car and you so happen to get caught in the rain, you can throw the top up real quick, but who wants to drive this thing with the top up? Cause it's a roadster, uh, it's manual, it's got a V8 engine in it. You wanna have that top down, show it off. This thing looks it has plenty of sex appeal uh, on the streets or in the showroom, wherever you place it. We have the unique Carroll Shelby uh, two-piece forged aluminum wheels as well. Those are polished with a hyper silver center on them, four-wheel disc brakes. Take a look at the front. We got a snake emblem in here. Uh, these cars were called the Snake Bite. Uh, it has the front scoop, kind of similar to a GT40. Very aerodynamic, uh, lets a lot of air flow through them. When they tested these cars, they were at the Las Vegas uh, Speedway or racetrack, I believe it was, and it was like 130 degrees out that day. And they were very worried about the first one going out and performing and overheating. And the car did not overheat. Uh, it stayed at the correct temperature and it fought through the race. Uh, just flawlessly or effortlessly. Now these weren't a full production car, so they were hand built. It was a small assembly. Uh, so this car is not perfect. It does have some minor flaws on it. There is a tiny little scratch on the rear bumper here. Very hard to see unless you're bent over up close like I am. Uh, and then there is a slight crack in the rear quarter uh, right on the paint right here. Again, it's just very hard to find. You gotta catch it at the right light or angle uh, for it to even show up. So a couple minor imperfections, guys, but other than that, this car has been sitting inside. Like I said, it's part of our vault collection for over 10 years now. Uh, so it's being presented pretty much the exact same way that we got the car. Let's take a look inside. Now, if the interior reminds you of a late 90s or early 2000s GM car, uh, that's because it's very similar. Uh, the joke has it, is that Carroll Shelby had a spare set of keys, two GMs, a spare part warehouse. Uh, this does have a Pontiac monsoon stereo system in it, uh, other GM components like the trim pieces, stuff like that. So again, these were low production car, 259 of them. That way they didn't have to go through certain uh, government safety ratings and, and testings and stuff like that. So he used what he could get. Uh, these have nice Carroll Shelby stitched racing bucket seats in them. The leather's fantastic. The carpet's in immaculate condition. Uh, the dash is very nice. It is lifting a little bit right here, but I believe that our interior guy can get that re-glued down. So again, minor imperfections, guys, but this thing's still highly collectible in showroom condition. Uh, it has all the dual speakers in the front and then the sides and the rear subs right in between the seats as well, kind of similar to how the Dodge Vipers are. Uh, the steering wheel is a tilt. It does have that snake eye Carroll Shelby emblem right in the center there. 
And then in the middle, a six-speed manual transmission has a carbon fiber shift knob on it, which is a nice tie. Uh, and this car even has air conditioning. Who would have thought? So all the interior is power uh, minus the seats. They are in manual tilt and slide. Uh, but power windows, power locks, power mirrors. So that's nice to have. So it has all the modern commodities. You could literally drive this as a daily car, a street car, uh, and have no problem with it. Turn signals, the horn works, all the lights, everything. Now my favorite part about this car has to be the way the hood pops up, just like the early gen Vipers. It does have a nice aluminum bracket that'll lock it so you don't have to worry about it falling if you're gonna show it on display. Again, we had this out for our supercar for charity event over this past weekend, and it was one of the most popular cars, tons of attention, and take a look. Look at how unique this engine bay is. Shows the exposed aluminum chassis. You have inboard uh, over the frame, coilover shocks on it, this has the aluminum Aurora V8 engine in it, mated to a six-speed ZF transmission that was modified to fit in this car exclusively. Uh, why Carroll Shelby chose this platform for the drivetrain? I'm not too sure, but this thing does pack a punch. 320 horsepower, it's lightweight, it's nimble, it zips around. This is the perfect track car. This thing will corner and handle uh, like crazy. It, it's amazing how well this car handles and it drives very, very smoothly. But take a look at how unique it is. Again, 522 miles, guys. This thing is clean as a whistle, showroom condition. You have some nice carbon fiber engine cover and the air, cold air intake uh, right there with the large exposed filter. Conveniently enough, they did put the battery in a very nice spot. So that is easy to get to if you have to get to it. Uh, this does have power steering, air conditioning, all the good stuff. Now these cars never were built with a trunk, but it does have the tonneau cover with some storage space if you have the top up. So it is lockable. There's a key slot here uh, to lock and unlock it. You have the latch. There is a secondary latch. I found it first try. That was nice. So here is the soft convertible top, guys. Like I said, it is manual. Uh, it's pretty easy to put on. It has a couple latches that you lock. Put this back down and then this pushes down and locks into place. But there's a decent amount of storage space with the top up. And again, everything's in working condition. The top is nice, it's blemish free. It doesn't have any scratches, tears or stains, anything like that. So again, collector grade condition inside and out. guys we are going to take this right down the road uh, just to our other entrance just to show you that it does run and drive it can be driven on the road it is ready to go we do double inspect all our vehicles so before you take delivery of this it does get properly gone through and make sure that it is ready to drive man this thing is zippy just flawlessly through the gears guys just wants to go so don't let that Aurora V8 engine fool you because it's got it's got some power working turn signals brakes work nicely I could daily drive this car. Now that was my impression of this 1999 Shelby Series 1 vehicle. Guys, this is something that uh, we've owned for over 10 years now, and you finally have the opportunity to buy. People have asked in the past, and it's been on display, uh, but new things are coming as we're always evolving and changing at the museum here. So this one unfortunately has to go, but it does have a special place in all of our hearts. So if you are a Shelby fan or a Volo fan, pick this bad boy up. 
The best part is, guys, this has a VIN, it is street legal, so that means you can finance this car, that's right. You can finance it, monthly payment. We can also help get it shipped right to your driveway. Uh, you can visit volocars.com, put your deposit on this car, or call us, ask for me, Caleb. I'd be more than happy to talk over the car some more with you. We can go over financing options, shipping options. It's super easy. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. If you guys do enjoy it, make sure you subscribe, click the like button, hit the bell icon, that way you get notified every single time a new video gets posted because we get some of the best cars in the country that come through this place. Uh, it's such a blessing to be able to do this and show you guys all these really unique vehicles or just low mile collectibles. I really enjoy what I do. I hope you guys enjoy these cars as well. Thanks for checking it out.